and welcome. Happy New Year. It is 2022 and I am just so happy that we are back together again. I hope each of you had a wonderful holiday celebration, a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful New Year, and I pray that you took Jesus with you and took the celebration of Jesus' birthday with you. Now, we are moving into the new year and moving into all that God is calling us to do. One part of that is to continue to study His Word, which is in the Bible. And we know that the Bible is a true story. The Bible is a treasure book of stories old and new. It tells us how to live our life and it shows us what to do. Not only does it tell us how to live our life and show us what to do, it also reminds us of God's promises. Friends, God has so many promises for you and he has so many plans for your life. So today we are going to hear from the book of Isaiah and Isaiah was a prophet. Or when I say prophet, I mean he was a man that God chose to tell people about what would happen in the future. So we are going to hear from Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 through 2. So listen to these words. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Wow, this is some really powerful images, some really powerful images in this statement, right? God is ultimately saying, or they are being reminded that God is with them, God will protect them. And these promises from God haven't changed. From the Israelites to now in 2022, as we open up a new brand new year, nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is the date on the calendar, my friends. So this week, as we kick off this new year, some of you are already back in school. Some of you will be back in school in the coming week. But as we kick off this new year, I want you to remember that God is always with you. He will protect you. He will guide you. He will comfort you. He will keep you with him always. The only thing that we need to do is we need to seek him in our lives. We need to read his word. If you're not a reader yet, you can ask your parents to read Isaiah 43, 1 through 2 to you. So if you cannot read yet, Ask a family member, ask an adult, ask an older brother or sister who can read to read those words to you. That God is with you. He knows your name and he calls you by name and he will protect you from it all. Now, does this mean that bad things won't happen or we won't stub our toe or we won't fall and hurt our knee? No, that's not what it means. It means God will protect you in spirit and in truth. So in the big scheme of your life, as you get older and do so many things and live your life according to the way God wants you to live, he will protect you every step of the way so that you can do everything he's called you to do. So I am excited that we are all here in 2022 and I look forward to spending more time together. We're asking God to help us as we go through all that's happening in our world. And whenever it's possible, wherever it's possible for us to be together, we are going to try to be together. So I look forward to seeing some of you soon. 
all of you soon, hopefully. Um, but we clearly understand that the world is in a different, unique place, and that may not be possible at all times, but we do not have to have a roadblock against sharing God's word, hearing God's word, and being together, whether it's in person or on Zoom, we are going to be together and hear God's word. And that hearing of God's word allows us to go out or to be a part of all that's good in our community, in our school, in our scout troops, in everything that we're doing. God is going to be with us and he will work through us. He can do so much. So I just ask you today to consider being a part of God's plan, making good decisions, doing what's right, and celebrating the fact that we are here in 2022. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we know that you know us by name. We thank you for continuing to protect us, keep us, and guide us. Help us to make great choices as we start this year and help us to always look to you for guidance. All these things we ask in Jesus' name, amen. So friends, I am so happy you got to watch today and I look forward to sharing with you next time. Have a wonderful week and see you soon. Take care, bye-bye. Thank you.